Hi everyone, and welcome back to this first video of 2022. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm James, and thank you for joining me. In this video, I'll be making a return to the series that I started last year, where I make one of the unused designs from the film Gone with the Wind. The design that I will be looking at in this video was designed for Laura Hope Cruz in the part of Aunt Pittypat. The design comes from the early part of the film, as it's a crinoline, but there are no notes on the design as to say what scene it was from. But if you look at details on the design, they are very similar to the dress that she wears for the fleeing at Atlanta scene. So this may have been an alternative design for that scene, but that I'm not sure about. I'm just surmising from what I'm seeing in the drawing and what I'm seeing in the film. Through one of the Hollywood costume groups I'm on on Facebook, I was able to locate someone who owns a costume that was worn by Laura Hope Cruz in one of her later films after Gone with the Wind. And the owner of the dress very kindly measured it for me and gave me her measurements so that I was able to produce this one to her measurements rather than just making it into a standard size. I hope you will enjoy this video. So please let's get into making this unused design from Gone with the Wind. For this dress, I will be using this light plum coloured silk. And for the trim, this black lace and velvet ribbon that I had in my stock. I start by laying out the fabric to cut the skirt. This is made up of five gourd panels. These are sewn up using a 1 inch seam allowance. Once the skirt panels are all sewn together, I then pleat it onto the waistband over the crinoline and petticoat. When the pleating is complete, I then tack the skirt onto the waistband and then machine it on. To cover the waistband I use a strip of fabric that I first sew onto the wrong side of the waistband. I then flip this over to the right side and top stitch it down to give a nice clean finish. I then turn the hem up double and sew it down with a slip stitch. Now I'm moving on to cutting out the bodice. For the backing fabric, I found some white cotton in one of my fabric boxes. Here you can see me transferring all the sewing and style lines from the pattern to the bodice piece. Once I've completed this on one side, I remove the pattern, turn the piece over and do the same on the other side. I then do the same procedure to all the other bodice pieces.
cut the bodice fabric parts from the offcuts of the skirt. Because the bodice has the ruched upper section, I am only cutting the lower part of the bodice from the fabric. Once the silk is cut out, I then flat tack the silk and the cotton backing fabric together so that they can be sewn as one piece of fabric. I then sew the bodice pieces together, leaving the side seams open so that I can apply all the ruching on the upper bodice. Once this is done, I will then sew the side seams together. For the ruching, I use 3 inch strips of fabric that I first push gather under the foot and gather on both sides. I then sew this ruche strip onto the bodice. Once the ruche is sewn on, I then apply the lace trim by easing it in with my small pair of scissors under the machine foot. And then lastly, I sew on the black velvet ribbon. I finish off the bottom of the bodice with a bias strip of fabric that I then hand sew in place. And finally, sew a placket into the centre front opening. The sleeves are cut in two parts. The upper part being a puff sleeve and the lower half a bishop sleeve. Both parts of the sleeve are then gathered at the top and bottom and sewn together. The join in the sleeves are being covered by the black velvet ribbon and a bow. And here's the finished dress. She's turned out really well. I'm really surprised at how well she has turned out, considering I only had the design to work from. The ruching was definitely worth it, and sewing, easing in all the lace and sewing on the velvet ribbon. As with the other Gone With The Wind dresses, this one, the skirt fastens at the back and the bodice fastens at the front. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me bring this design to life. And if you'd like to see what other things I have coming up for 2022, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to support me, I will link to my Patreon in the description below. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all again very soon.